Welcome to another exciting episode of Azores Islands Guide. In today's adventure we will be exploring the stunning Fayal Island. Today we will do a full review of the electric scooter's pros and cons. On the way we gonna stumble upon some stunning Miraduros. We will take a necessary break to recharge our scooters and we gonna hang out in one of the restaurants with the local cuisine. But the main attraction of the day will be Capelinos Volcano in Portugal. We will walk you through stunning panoramic views, also we gonna visit lighthouse and a museum attached. On the way back we will be lucky enough to immerse ourselves in the beautiful ocean water. This stunning volcanic delight will hold a lot of surprises including a beautiful ocean life. As we arrive back in Horta, we're gonna visit the green hill next to the city and enjoy some stunning views. Please subscribe to my channel and let's get ready for an unforgettable journey. And then in the Azores, um, I was not prepared for the level of beauty that we encountered. There is a level of beauty that I've only experienced two, maybe three times in my life that sort of leaves you physically sick, like ill. It's so beautiful that your your body is the weak link. Like you might think that sugar is tasty, but if you were to eat a bag of sugar, you'd probably be sick to your stomach. And I would say this was like so much beauty that it was at an almost pathological level. And more than more than I think my family could really take in. Today we will take you around the island from the outside and we're gonna do it on the electric scooters that this uh, island offer. Um, we're gonna have two scooters because it doesn't have enough power and it only goes I think about uh, 70 80 kilometers. Uh, you have uh, availability to charge it along the way somewhere, so uh, I'm going to show you around and figure it out. <laughs> we were in the office for about 20 minutes, getting all the paperwork ready and then we could finally leave. So, what do you make you think about the uh, electric scooters? Well, they go forward, that's a good to think about them. 20% of battery is down, you most likely have to stop somewhere and recharge a little bit. The speed is non-existent. Uh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the first Miraduro was a stunning view of the Horta city. Hortas Marina is a primary stop for yachts crossing the Atlantic Ocean. From this point you have a perfect view of the Pico, highest mountain of Portugal, and the lush greenery that are surrounding the other side of the island. Can you just tell us how much did it cost to get the scooters? Yeah, it costs 40 euro per day per scooter and you can't have two people on them, so there's two of you, that's 80 euro per day. Comparing to 35 that we paid for the other one. Yeah. yeah. We were advised that if you go down the hill, the batteries on a scooter should be charging. However, if you do not reach a certain speed, you will not see any improvements on your battery life. Pushing the scooter like a plain stones <laughs> down the hill. <laughs> as much as we tried to recharge our batteries a little bit, we were running very low. We found our first stop at the restaurant. We will try to ask if they can charge our scooters a little bit. Good luck. It's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Restaurant Trumar had a very kind staff and they let us to camp here for a little while before our scooters were ready again. They had enormous variety of local cuisine and we could also pick fish from a local fishing book. Yeah, we couldn't order meal yet because it's early so we got a little treat. <laughs> 
The kitchen opened at 12 o'clock and our meals were ready just on time. Mm, yummy! Be careful where you park your scooters because locals do not hesitate to block you with their cars. It happened to us twice today. And finally we arrived at the volcano. Apparently, yeah, that's the volcano that erupted in uh, 1957 and all that is just like a new land from, from that eruption. So yeah, that's like the newest part of Europe pretty much. And there we were, walking on a land that a few years ago didn't even exist. Walking on lava. This mesmerizing landscape, made by a volcanic eruption, offers a unique sight to behold. The Capelinos is a monogenetic volcano located at the western coast of Fayal Island. It is a part of a larger volcanic complex of a capello. It can be considered the westernest point of Europe. Completely another most amazing place I've ever seen and uh, it's so unique and it's all here in Azores. I am speechless. It's just uh, breathtaking. There are more westernly islands at the Azores archipelago, but they lie on the North American plate. On September 27, 1957, near Ponta dos Capalinos, the ocean began to bubble. People were scared the sea continued to pour smoke, ashes and lava, and the earth spit fire from its core. More than half of Fayal's population were evacuated. Scientists from all over the world came to study the volcano. The volcano remained active for 13 months and many houses were buried under the ashes. As a result of the eruption, the total area of the island increased by about 2.4 km square. Now the volcano became the tourist attraction, including the lighthouse and the museum. I look like I'm drinking some liquor. What about you? I've already drunk liquor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lucky. Coolest coffee ever. Leaving from this fascinating place, we jumped on a scooter and head off. But that's not all. Fayal Island is also a treasure trove of historical delights. We stumbled upon charming villages and beautiful nature. It's a journey through time that leaves you in awe. After a short break, we started reaching the edges of Horta. We knew we were close thanks to Pico welcoming sight. After rolling around the Horta airport, we stumbled upon a nice surprise. A hidden gem at the cliffs. This beach had a comfortable changing room and the bathroom for the visitors. We had changed here and headed towards the natural pools. <laughs> Let's do it! Come on Mike, you can do this! How was it? 
<laughs> Cold. Uh -huh. <laughs> My turn. <Okay. laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, that was good! <laughs> this secluded paradise offers not only tranquility, but also a chance to interact with enchanting ocean creatures. Taking a dip in the crystal clear water surrounded by the wonders of nature was truly magnificent. Slippery! Yeah. After a full day of traveling, this was exactly what we needed. We discovered a little natural private pool at the back of the cliffs. What a romantic corner to just sit and relax. It's okay. Ugh. Climbing in the lava rocks and dipping into natural pools is one of my favorite things. But let's dive into the ocean life and see some of the creatures that's been sharing these pools with us. we started heading towards the car park when we discovered that we got a second time blocked with the local car. As I said, be careful where you park. We still had some energy left, so we have decided to visit Monte da Guia. It is a small green extension of Horta with a stunning Miraduro da Lira. This viewpoint gives you another perspective of this beautiful city. This was an amazing spot to just sit back, relax and try to process the whole day and all the amazing adventure that we've been through today. In the next episode, we're gonna enjoy a luxurious breakfast at Azori's Fayal Garden. We are leaving Horta behind and jumping on a big boat to explore a new island. And as you might already think, we are hopping to a Pico Island. After exploring the city and having some delicious treats, we're gonna go for a long drive along the coastline seeing the most unique vineyard and a hand-built fences of lava rocks that will leave us completely speechless. The amount of work local people do here is incredible. Putting this place on a list of the most unique places in the world once again. Subscribe to my channel and watch us mingle with the locals at the local church. Watch the sunset and enjoy another blissful day. If you have any questions about Fayal Island, please let us know down in the comments. Share our video with your friends and family if you enjoy. And if you would like to support my channel, please give me a like underneath the video. It was wonderful having you on board and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye!